Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about colored pencils again. In front of me, I have a Colin 60 pencil set. This is a Japanese brand that I got um, when I was living in Singapore a few years back. And it cost me about um, 24.90 Singaporean dollars or about 25 Singaporean dollars. Today we're doing a care card and I'm hoping that's quite fitting because a lot of us are suffering you know, through this COVID period in many various ways, it could be physical or mental. For the postcard, we're going to use this watercolor paper that I got from Taiwan last year. I know it's for watercolor, but it should be also good enough for use with colored pencils. After I finish my artwork, I'm going to give you a link where you can download the postcard. I'm hoping you can actually spread it out or send a digital version to your friends and family or needing the care most at so right now I have t I have picked up two colors in my hand. The thing, the problem is that it doesn't have a label on the color, so that's a minus for this set. So I laid out my outline using the red pencil, and then I put in the text using the blue one, and I thought that a heart is quite fitting because we're sending out a care card. And then I put in the leaves and the flowers. As you notice, I put in very common shapes because that would be the easiest for you to do. If you want to make um, a card quickly on an afternoon like this. We now have the basic artwork using our red and blue pencil. Now we can pick up different colors from our colored pencil set and just try to put more life into our flowers and leaves right here. So these are the shades of green that I got from the coloring set so they're quite nice. So we're just gonna pick randomly from this lot. For the reds, we have these, and I've also mixed in a few purples for the shadows. So I started with filling up the greens into the leaves, and if you notice, I don't really have a process that I follow. I actually just randomly pick between lights and dark greens, but the most important point here is that to make sure um, the leaf doesn't look so flat. That's the purpose of putting um, a variation of shades into a leaf. And then I also put in some highlights around the midrib of some of my leaves. Sometimes you would think it doesn't make sense because you put in another color on top of it. But it actually makes a difference once you put another layer because wherever the color um, layers cross, then it creates another shade. And then for my flowers, I did put in some purples and reds and also a bit of blue. Because blue and red obviously creates purple, and that's obviously um, the shadow of the flowers. And I decided to pick up my yellows because I thought that the yellow would be the best background for this image. I initially thought of using purples, but I thought it's that it's gonna drown out the foreground, so yellow would be the best choice right here. And just uh, notice carefully that the stronger yellow I've actually used around my text so it's more readable so i also um, try to highlight the yellows around my subject and then i continue doing that all over my um, illustration and then i went into my text as you notice i picked up the blue because i wanted it to have more um body and i initially thought that i'm just gonna leave this as white but then i thought white on um, a colored pencil illustration would seem um, like it is unfinished. So that's just my opinion though. So I decided to actually fill in the blue later on as you can see in this um, video. That was a very bold move but I thought um, the finished product was quite good. And then I just went ahead and just continue uh, trying to emphasize my outlines with darker shades of um, reds and purples and blues and just make sure that um, the image is um, visible um, as you notice, um, colored pencil is like a very repetitive um, form of art. So I find it very tedious and I don't think it's a very good kind of activity for those who are suffering arthritis. So if this is watercolor, it would be a much lighter activity. But anyway, um, I hope you like the way I'm doing my watercolors. I mean my colored pencil. Nonetheless, uh, this is the way I do it. So at the end of the video, you can see I highlighted the edges of my heart so that it stands out from the paper. This is the finished artwork, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And please do check my Instagram post because I'm having a giveaway promo. I'll be giving away this 36 colored pencil set from Mitsubishi. I have this in my stash for years and I thought somebody could take good care of it. So that's all for today guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I try to make videos every week. Bye!